Hello everyone, welcome to part one of my series on getting a better shave. Now we're going to start with equipment today because there's two things you need for a great comfortable shave. First is equipment, the second is technique. Now most of you probably use stuff like this at the moment. We have your typical can of goo which costs about six dollars and only lasts you a month. And we have your typical bazillion blade razor these days cost you about $15 and more importantly the little cartridges cost you about $5 each really expensive you're being robbed blind now compare this to all your old school wet shaving equipment it's going to give you a much better shave and it's really high quality funnily enough you'll find it's cheaper than the stuff you buy in the supermarket and it's much more pleasurable to shave with so we have a double edge safety razor a shaving brush and a variety of creams and soaps. Now to start with, here's our double edge safety razor. For a bit of size comparison, here's your regular razor. Now this is plastic, this is steel, so this is quite a fair bit heavier. As I said before, the cartridge for one of these, five dollars, and it'll last these last me about four days max before they start going blunt. The razors from a safety razor on the other hand double edge, they last about me about the same amount of time but these are 20 cents a blade, hell of a lot cheaper. And here we have a shaving brush, now these come in a variety of makes and models, you have your synthetics which are the cheapest, ball bristles which come from the hairs of a pig, and badger brush which comes from the hair of a badger. There's three grades of badger brush, sorry. You have uh, Best Badger, Pure Badger, and Super Badger. As you can see, this is a Best Badger, and it's quite soft on the skin. We're going to go into the different makes and models of brush in a future video. Now here we have your old school shaving creams and soaps. Here's, this is Pro Rasso. It's a fairly good brand for beginners to wet shaving. I'll get the lid off. Now as you can see here, there's still about two thirds of that left. Now that's after four months of everyday use. Like I said before, this, six dollars for a month. This, fifteen dollars for four months and it's still got another eight or so months worth of use on it. You can see the price difference. And this is crap. You also have the option of your wooden bowl with shaving cream. These are available from most of the high-end brands like GOF Trumper, True Fit and Hill, Taylor's, DR Harris and such. They're about $40, but you get for that the bowl and the soap. Now when the soap's finished, you just buy a refill, it's $20. They're really good because you get full brush coverage on it, and any soap refill will fit into it. If it doesn't fit in, all you do is put it in, in the microwave for a couple of minutes, it'll melt down, leave it out for a couple of hours, and it conforms to the shape of the bowl. Really worth the investment. Finally, we have a cream. This is my favorite, Taylor of Old Bond Street, lemon and lime. And as you can see, hopefully, it's quite runny. This has a little bit of water because I've used it in the shower, but it's fairly runny compared to a soap, and that's the main difference with creams and soaps. Creams give you a much thicker, richer lather, but they don't last as long as a soap. Even so, they last a lot longer than your typical can shaving cream, and these are really good quality. The feeling of this on your skin is fantastic. So now we're going to go into actually lathering these creams and soaps up. 